Hi class! So ngayon mag-review tayo. This is a review video and I'm confidently tama na to lahat. Okay? So gumamit ng reliable calculator na i-review everything to make sure this is correct and reliable. So okay. Um, first natin i-discuss ang BMR. So we're just going to use two of the um, way to get the BMR. The first is the rule of the thumb. So remember, rule of the thumb, every mil, okay, that will be 1, okay, times the given weight, times 24, so nang 24, that is the number of hours in a day. So, the basal metabolic rate, okay, let's have an example. Example natin is, I have a male client, okay, which is 72 kilogram. So, male 72 kilogram. Sabi natin, every male, that will be 1, times, substitute natin yung weight, 72 times ilang hours in a day, 24. Okay, ilan ang sagot? The BMR will be, ano BMR natin? That will be 1728 calories. Okay, let's proceed with the female. Kunyari, female naman si client natin. I have a female which is, 61 kilogram. Kunyari na example. So, every female, remember, 0.9 times, substitute, 61 times, number of hours in a day, 24. Okay? What is the BMR for, for female given client? That will be 1317.6. Sabi ko nga, every final answer na tayo mag, na round off. So, 1317.6, that will be one. 318k calories. Yan ang ating BMR for the given female. Okay. And done with the BMR, um, using rule of the thumb, let's have computation of harris bendick formula. Pagkuha ng required energy expenditure. So, we have two formulas for each, for men and women. So, anong gagamitin natin? On our exams, sabihin ko na sa inyo, you're going to use the formula na merong weight in pounds and height in inches. So, hindi na tayo mag-convert. Mag um, mag so, the formula for male, that will be, isn't it, for male, is 66 plus 6.23 times weight in pounds, sabi ko nga, yun ang ating gagamitin for the exam, plus 12.7 times height in inches, yun, minus 6.76, okay, times age in years. This is for male. And then, we're going to use the formula with weight in pounds and height in inches. Kunyari, may given ako, male, okay, 28 years old, and weigh 178 pounds, and stands 5'7". So, ano gagawin nyo? Substitute lang, guys. 66 plus 6.23. Anong weight in pounds natin? is 178 plus 178 pounds plus 12.7 times height in inches. Ano ang inches na ang 5.7? That will be 67 inches minus 6.76 times what's our age? 28. So, anong gagawin natin? Tandaan natin ang rule ng MDAS, Multiplication, Division, Addition, and Subtraction. So, unahin nyo muna lahat ng imumultiply. So, 66, retain natin. Multiply na sa open and close parenthesis. 66 point, um, sorry, 6.23 plus 178 pounds. That will be 1108.94. I hope tama na binibigyan ng calcio ko. Plus... 12.7 times 67, that will be 850.9 minus 
times 28, that will give us 189.28. Guys, wala mo na magra-round off. I-retain nyo yung at least two decimal places. Two decimal places ang i-retain natin. Wala magra-round off. Ang i-round off nyo lang, yung decimal place. Pero still, i-retain natin. Kasi malaking bagay ang i-contribute contribute niya. So, tapos na tayo. Mag-multiply. Ano na gagawin natin is, next, multiplication, division. Wala naman tayo division. Now, we're going to do the addition. So, you will add 66 plus 1108.94 plus 850.9. Okay. Pag na-add na nyo na siya, tsaka nyo pa lang siya isusubtract yung 189.28. So, our answer for this, the, the REE of our client is... 1,836.56 Now, it's time for you to um, round off 1,837k calories Okay, nakuha This is the Harris Benedict formula Okay, ano gagamitin natin yung formula for female? Okay, in our exam, still the weight in pounds That will be the Female, REE, sorry, sa maalog. Okay, maalog yung table dito sa duty ko. Okay, 655 plus, fix yan, 4.35 times weight in pounds plus 4.7 times height in inches. Minus 4.7 times age in years. Ito yung gagamitin natin pang babae. Still substitute, substitute lang. Okay? So, we're done with the BMR, REE. Now, punta tayo ngayon sa pagkuha ng desirable body weight. So, we're going to use the two formula in getting the desirable body weight, which is the um, Ador Genisio and Tannhauser's method. Actually, guys, ang Ador Genisio, ginagamit lang pag ang client natin is between 25 to 50 years old and height between 5 feet to 5'11. Kung ang client natin is below 5 feet or more than 6 feet, okay, and then ang client natin is less than 25 years old and more than 50 years old, we're going to use the Tannhauser's method. Okay, so let's proceed with our desirable body weight to the door genisio. Okay, sabi nga natin, sa door genisio, okay, for a male every 5 feet, that will be 110 pounds, okay, and for the female is every 5 feet is 100 pounds. Okay, let's have an example. Example is a male client stands 5 feet 8 inches and he's already 30 years old. Okay. So, yun. So, sabi natin, every 5 feet male, that will be 110 pounds. 5 feet. Ilan na natitira? Sabi nga natin, height is 5'8". So, the excess inches is every inch will be multiplied by 2. 8 times 2, that will be 16. Ya yeah, add natin, 110 plus 16, that will be 126. Ngayon yung age. Ano gagawin natin sa age? Age times 2 divided by 5. Ano age si client natin? 30 times 2 divided by 5. Operation of M does. Multiply mo na bago mag-divide. That will be 60 divided by 5 equals 12. So, 126 plus 12. Our desirable body weight for this client using Ador Genisio is 138 pounds. Okay. Next, is a Tannhauser's method. Sa Tannhauser's method, mga anak, remember, if your client is a Filipino, take 10% off. 
ba minus yung 10%. Pag hindi Filipino client, stick tayo, walang 10% of walang discount. Okay, so townhousers tayo. I hope kita nyo. Okay, townhousers. Okay, tandaan ang conversion na every 1 inch equals to 2.54 centimeter. Kasi kailangan natin, ang height natin is in centimeter. Sorry, ang alog, nakikita ko siya. So, let's have an example of a client which is 5 feet and 3 inches. Kunyari yun ang binigay ko. I have a client, 5 feet 3 inches. Matik muna tayo na Filipino iyon. Kasi nasa Pilipinas tayo. So, matik tayo. Unless stated. Tandaan nyo yan. Okay. 5, 3, Filipino. Sinurat ko na rin. So, every 5 feet equals 60 plus 3, 63 inches times 2.54. That will be 160.2. Diba? Minus fixed number of 100. That will be 60.02. Sorry, ang alog. Okay, Filipino. Walang Filipino. Matik yan. Unless stated. Minus 10%, 6. Okay, the answer will be 54.02 kilograms. Okay, 54.02. Sabi ko nga, final answer, mag ko convert I mean, ko convert Magra-round off tayo. That will be... 54 kilogram. Undesirable body weight. Uha, guys. Okay. Punta naman tayo sa caloric requirement ng client natin. So, I will um, just stick on the two. Yung BMI, nakuha nyo naman yan sa PA natin. So, stick tayo sa caloric requirement. Um, punta lang tayo sa dalawang method. Maraming mga method, pero doon tayo sa dalawang method na kinukompute. Kasi iba, suggested na. Check nyo lang. May katumbas na. Okay. Daily energy requirement. Guys, marami tayong steps dito. We have six steps to get your daily energy requirement. Daily energy requirement. So, first step is getting the desirable body weight of our client. Okay, get the desirable body weight of our client using Tannhauser's method. Okay. So, kunyari, ang client at ang case natin is I have 22-year-old, okay, 22-year-old Filipino, okay, athlete, hmm, spelling, uh, uh, 22-year-old um, Filipino athlete, Male stands 5'11 with the average sleep of 7 hours. Yan yung average sleep niya. So, ano na makukunin nyo pag kayo um, kukuha ng daily energy requirement or the information you need to get? The age of your client, so definitely yung race, makukuha nyo naman siya by knowing where you are and then uh, kung ano yung client nyo. Pero to be sure, if you want to ask, it's okay. And then, yung activity na client nyo or occupation, if getting the occupation, guys, you make sure you're going to extract all the daily activities or the ADLs of your client so that you can identify. Okay. You have to get, syempre, gender, biological gender tayo. And then, get the height and the average sleep. Numbers of hours of sleep. So, first is getting the desirable body weight using the Tannhausers. So, ang client natin yung 5'11". Okay, so, yung 5'11", ilang inches? 71 times 2.54. How many centimeters? That will be 180.34. So, 180.34 centimeters minus 100 equals 80.34. 34, Filipino client, take 10% off. That will be 8.03. Ang answer natin, desirable body weight is 72.31. This is a desirable body weight of our client. Okay, let's proceed with the second step, getting the basal needs. Pagkuha natin sa basal needs is, our client, is it a male or female? Male, so factor of 1 times... 
substitute niya yung desirable body weight ni client, 72.31 times number of hours in a day, 24. What is the answer? Answer is 1735.44. Wala munang magra-round off, Iwa iwan lahat muna natin. Okay, what's our third step? Kukunin natin yung resting period ng client natin. Okay, so re or the num total number of sleep. So, ang factor naman natin dito is 0.1 times desirable body weight of 72.31 times the average of sleep. Sabi ko kanina, 7 hours. So, times 7. Ano ang sagot? That will be 50.617 Okay, so, ito, tatlo, round off, 50.62. Okay, ito decimal place. Okay, ano next step ng third natin? So, number three is you're going to add, okay, add natin si 2 and 3. So, 1735.44 plus 50.612 ah, 50.62 that will be 1786.06 okay so yan medyo I don't know I double check na lang yung ano so, this is your step 3. Okay. Yan ang sagot. Okay. Ano naman ang step 4 natin? Is you're going to add the activity increment. Okay. Identify. Athlete si client. Interview nyo. Okay. Athlete po kayo. Ano po nilalaro niya? Okay. Sabi ng nilalaro ni athlete natin. Uh, ano ako? Um, player ako para sa palarong pambansa. Uh, uh, Volleyball. So, ang practice ka mula pagkagising, pahinga lang, practice, ganun ang buhay niya. So, fall under yon na heavy. Okay. So, anong activity increment ng heavy? Kindly check on your table. Heavy, that will be 1,500. So, what are you going to do next step sa fourth natin? Is you're going to add activity increment sa number 3 natin. So, 1786 plus 1,500, the answer will be 3,286.06. Yan yung number four or fourth step natin. Fifth is getting the SDA. Paano kinukuha yung SDA? Guys, dito ako meron i-clear or i-correct. After all the reviews and everything, Yung una sabi ko SDA is 10% of basal need which is a number 2 plus the activity increment. Ano ang correction natin doon? Ang correction natin doon is 10% of the SDA pa rin plus the 10% of the activity increment. 10% ng lahat. 10% of basal needs uh, and activity increment. So, ano 10% ng basal needs natin? Ano 10% ng 1735.44? The 10% will be 173.54. Ano 10% ng 1500 natin activity? 10% of that is 150. Okay. So, i-add natin para makuha ang SDA. 173.54. 10% of basal needs plus 10% of activity increment of 1,500 is 150. Ano SDA natin? Pag in natin yung dalawang yan, SDA po natin ay 323.54. 323.54. Okay, what's the last step para makuha ang REE natin? The last step in getting the REE is... You're going to add, okay, your number 4 and number 5. So, 3,286.06 plus 323.54. Ano ang sagot? Okay, 3609.6. Okay, 
round it off to a whole number 3, 6, 10 K calories. Yan ngayon ang daily energy requirement ng isang player. Okay, last natin gagawin is yung based on the desirable body weight and the activity. So, simple lang yan. Ang, ang formula nun is desirable body weight times the activity to get the total calorie need ng client natin. So, ganito lang yan. Get the desirable body weight using Tannhauser's. Okay? Saan man gagaling yung activity? May table din tayo po diyan. Check on your module. Is it a male or a female or men or a women? And then, classify nyo kung ginamit nyo ba ay K, um, I'm sorry, kilogram or pounds in the desirable body weight but Tannhauser is kilogram. And then, puta sa table na yun. Tapos, and then, identify nyo kung yung client na nyo is bed rest. Yan yung mga bed ridden, bed bound na client, post-stroke, ganun. Okay. Or light light um, activity, moderate activity to the heavy activity. So, ano nyo lang siya. Times, um, kunin nyo sa table and then, um, substitute and then multiply na yung dalawa. That will be the answer on your cake. So, hopefully guys, malinaw na. So, I'll see you in our session for clarifications pa. Alright. Thanks.